I just got home from work. And look at all the chickens. They look pretty cool in New York City, don't they? Look at that. Oh yeah. They love in New York City. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Just came home from work. I put a little pee on my garden. Walking around checking things out. And this is what I saw. The fence. Something or somebody must have ran into it. Because you can see that corner sagging too. So let's disconnect it, get it fixed before we get too much rain on us. Then we're gonna go in the house and we got a few little things to do in the house. Look at the girls, they're just loving it. We got a nice like foot overhang there. So some of the chickens can hang out over here and not get wet. And then they can stand right here. Oh, I thought they were gonna go in New York cribs. All right, let's disconnect the fence. Er. Let's stand this way. Hey. Show it to you this way. See how much it sagged in, and then this is pulled out. So let's get that. Something or somebody tried getting in with my chickens, and I bet you they didn't like it. So we come over to this side, and somebody pulled the rope right out. So I'm gonna say there was definitely an animal that came over to the fence, got bit. I bet he didn't like that, because all the chickens are here. There's not any feathers anywhere, so we're doing good. All right, we got that string reattached. The perimeter fence is looking nice. So I bet you that neighborhood dog or bear or whatever it was thought I was gonna get an easy little treat. I bet you they ran away with their tail between their legs. I like it. So all the chicks are fine. We're not missing anybody. We're not, we don't have feathers or anything anywhere. That poultry net held up awesome. Now we gotta go in the house and we got some projects we're gonna do. Let's get going. But first, I gotta take a shower. What's up, modern stutters? That was a good little shower. We got a few things we wanna do, but first, we need to make our afternoon cup of pick me up. Oh man, where is it? Oh, whew, here it is. That's the good stuff right there. Number 743 at our co op. I don't know about you guys, but I sure love a good cup of joe. We grind our own coffee and keep the beans in the freezer because once the coffee is ground, they start going rancid within three minutes. That's crazy. Coffee is actually really healthy for you as long as it's done right. Smell so good. It's one of the key ingredients right here. Teaspoon of that. We like a heaping teaspoon. Then I add a splash of milk. And that's how you make a good cup of coffee. Yeah. That's better than a latte you'd get at Starbucks. And it only costs, I don't know, 30 cents maybe? That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. I have a favor to ask you. I need some recommendations for a good blender that's not gonna break my piggy bank. The blender I was just using has a crack in it, so it makes a mess every time I use it. And I use that thing like three or four times a day, so. That's a lot of mess to pick up. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what's a good blender to get. We're getting low on our vanilla extract. Look at that, we're almost out. We can't be having that. I'm not gonna go to the store and buy a little jar for like 15 bucks or whatever the heck it is. So we're gonna make our own. This is what we did. We went to our local co-op. We got some vanilla beans. We got four of them here. Nope. 
I don't want that one. Here we go. Just gonna take our vanilla beans. I chopped the ends off just to make it easier. And then we wanna slice them. The good stuff is in there. Look at that, that's the good stuff. Mmm, smells delicious. I'm just gonna cut them into thirds. Look at that good stuff. Gonna stick them inside our vodka bottle. I'm even putting the ends in there. You guys want all of this stuff. This stuff ain't cheap, so use every little bit you can to get it all out of it. I know, I shouldn't be cutting on marble. It's gonna dull my knives. I'll have to sharpen them. I can show you guys how we sharpen our knives here. I don't wanna use plastic, and I don't wanna use wood with this, cause I don't want the vanilla getting in all my wood and it's gonna be in all my food. I don't want a vanilla flavored steak, whatever else I'm gonna put on my cutting board. So, sometimes you just need to sacrifice the sharpness of your knife and then resharpen them. Stick those in there. See that right there a little bit? I gotta pick that up, that's the good stuff. Then we went to the liquor store this afternoon and we got Russian vodka. This vodka that we used back in 2014 is from Finland. So this is my theory. I don't know if I'm right or not. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think. I'm not an alcohol connoisseur. I can't find organic vodka. I just haven't had any luck finding it. In New Hampshire, the only place you can buy hard alcohol that I know of is at the New Hampshire State Liquor Stores. And there's one in our town, that's it. So I didn't see any organic vodka. You don't need to be crazy high proof, you just need 80 proof, which is 40% alcohol. I'm buying Russian vodka because I know Vladimir Putin can't stand GMOs. He's all about health. So I like that about Vladimir, if that's how you say his name. The guy might be a little crazy, but he doesn't want any GMOs. He's all about organic. So if this stuff is made in Russia, I bet you it's at least non-GMO and probably organic. This is made in Finland, so I'm thinking this over there, they're not too keen on GMOs too. I don't know if that theory's right, but that's kind of what I think in my head and it makes me feel better at least. So we're gonna take some Russian standard, if you can say that. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Them Russians know how to make their vodka. Thanks, Russia. I'm not gonna get too fancy and measure it out. I'm just gonna pour some vodka in there and have it cover my vanilla. I left my old vanilla beans in there. Cause you know what? They still smell good. So, that's my theory at least. We'll save that for next time. Put this in here, give it a little shake. Now we're gonna let this sit in the cupboard. He's supposed to let it sit in the cupboard for two to three months. What I'll do is I'll let it sit in there for a few weeks and then I'll start using it in my baking. It's not gonna be as strong as it would be in two to three weeks, but it's still gonna smell like vanilla. And then we're gonna use it up. I'm gonna write today's date on it and we'll stick it in the cabinet. Today's date is June 29th. Oh, look at that, we got a new comment. Kristen Whiteworth. Kristen Whiteworth. Oh look, we got a new comment. Kristen Whiteworth. Yes, please edit and upload the video for the handmade trowel. Pluto is such a joyful dog. I love her enthusiasm. Yeah, she's got a lot of enthusiasm. It's pretty cool, ain't it? So I will work on editing and uploading the video for Homestead Iron and we'll get that uploaded. So what did I say, today is June 29th, so we're gonna cross, uh, we'll leave that date. And we'll go June 29th, 
17. Give it one more shake. Stick it in the cabinet. Put our Russian vodka away. Pretty fancy looking bottle. It is glass still. I'll put that on the top shelf. Now it's time for some coffee. That's good coffee. I don't know if you guys have seen all the tomato plants we got out there and how good they're doing. They're flowering like crazy. That means we'll be getting some fruits soon, but not soon enough. So we're eating gluten free, and I'm trying to figure out how to make bread. Most of the store bought breads are expensive, or they just don't taste good, or both. So what I was thinking is we went to the store and we got a sourdough starter. I know this has got gluten in it, but it's not gonna have that much. So let's get a sourdough starter going, and we're gonna use gluten free flour. Let's see how that works. Let's go grab what we need. What are you doing, Pluto? She's pretty mellow right now. We need a bowl. That's not a bowl. There is the bowl. Let's see, we got our gluten free flour. Two cups of warm water, around 85 degrees. It says two cups of flour, so let's go. We're gonna try this flour. I've, I've tried a few different gluten-free flours. So far I have my favorite one. This isn't it, but we haven't used this one for much. So let's try this one and see how we like it. I haven't made bread yet. All right, two cups flour. I'll show you the gluten-free flour that I care for the least so far. It's not bad. I just don't like the texture that the baked goods have when using it. Namaste. Now we need to add the packet of starter. It's the Gold Rush Sourdough Starter. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. All right, we got it to 87, 86 degrees. Add in two cups of water. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's worth a try. We gotta cover it up, let it sit for four hours, then we gotta take a little bit out, feed it with some more water and flour, and let it sit for seven days, and feed it once a day for seven days and then we'll be ready to start baking bread with this. I hope it works, we'll keep you guys updated. Did you think this was just a nice cool bench that I made? No way guys, check this out. Boom, we store stuff under there too. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh, what are you doing? You're crazy. Now we gotta think of a spot to stick it. Hmm. Let's stick it in the oven. That'll work. On second thought, I better not do that. I might be needing that for dinner. We'll stick it in the microwave. Let it sit in there. Let's put this one on. Kitchen timer. Four, zero, zero. Four hours, start. So in four hours, we'll feed that. You guys probably won't be here with us. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really been helping our channel grow. We wanna thank you guys for that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. And when you're over on the subscribe button, hit the little bell and it'll turn on notifications for you and let you know every time we're uploading videos. We're putting a new video up every day. Don't forget to follow us also on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. Oh, and hope and hopefully Gina and Olivia will be on the video. I know you guys really enjoy seeing them. I hope my ugly mug and Pluto's mug was enough for you today. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow, hopefully with Gina and Olivia. Bye.